hello friends welcome back again to my channel and today we will learn this beautiful design but before then please if you are new to this channel go ahead to subscribe to my channel okay thank you all for joining me in today's section so let's go ahead to continue so I have this crinoline it's called the designed crinoline you can use the plain one then my Alice band and the glue these are the simple materials you need for this fascinator so first of all I'm just going to cut out the measurement I will use to create the base the base of this fascinator so I will be using length of 25 inches so you measure it out and then you cut it out okay and after that I will show you how to form the base all right so right now I've cut it out and I'm just going to go ahead to tie the two ends of this crinoline together I will tie it and then apply my fabric glue to it it will help it to stick together no, there is a way that crinoline does you can you can tie it and after some time it will start losing up so I will advise that if you tie your crinoline go ahead to apply some glue at it so that it can stick together so that's what I'm doing right now and I will also repeat this for the other end before I will go ahead to use it to form the crinoline base for this fascinator So I'm done tying the ends, so I'm just going to fold it into two. Can you see how I am folding it? Then I will pass a loose stitch, I will sew a loose stitch from one end to the other. So you watch how I form this base. It's very easy to make and very easy to understand. But if you find anything difficult to understand or confusing, please leave your comment in the comment section now and i will respond to you all right so let's go ahead to form this crinoline base So I've come to the end of this part, I'm just going to pull my thread to form this. Can you see the shape it's forming? That's what will serve our, as our crinoline base. Can you see that? I hope you find this easy. So when you are done doing this, make sure you stitch them together. So that even without holding it down, it can just stay this way. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial and if you do so please go ahead to like my video appreciate me and like this video and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly do so all right so you keep watching and you keep learning how I made the simple headpiece so I'll be using this for the base can you see how it will look on the headband right now let's form the roses on the top of this base 
and I'm using measurement of 15 inches so because I'm creating I'm forming three roses I'm just going to be cutting out these 15 inches into three and when I'm done doing that I'll go ahead to form my roses keep watching and you keep learning you will see how I did all of this in this video all right
that I'm done forming these roses, I'm just simply attaching them to the base. Can you see that? I hope you follow through and see how I achieve these roses. In case if you miss any step, please go back and rewatch this video. This is very easy to make, alright? So you go ahead to start attaching the roses. Okay? I would love to see your your design on this. So you can recreate this design and you post it on the Facebook group and I will approve your post instantly. Alright? So please recreate this design and send me the post and I will repost it. You can find my links in the description box, my Instagram link, my Facebook and the Facebook group. So you can connect with me right there. Alright? So you keep watching till you get to the end of this tutorial if you find if you have any question please go ahead to leave it in the comment section and if you find this valuable please subscribe to this channel like my videos appreciate me you can leave me a beautiful comment and i'll respond to you and i will appreciate you right so thank you for joining me while you keep watching till we are done making this very beautiful fascinator